Today we are going to discuss the Hunt Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First Hunt Coat of Arms to discuss is blazoned per pale, argent, and sable, a satire counterchanged. It was born by one Sir Oswald Hunt, who was a knight banneret in the 15th century. It was also the arms, possibly, of the Hunts of Milson and County Shropshire. John Hunt, sergeant at arms to King Charles, had no arms, but was buried with this coat of arms. He was the son of Thomas Hunt of Milson and the grandson of John Hunt of Milson, and he had a son and heir named Henry Hunt, born around the year 1629. Same coat of arms, but with a crest for the Hunts of Boratton in County Shropshire. The progenitor of this family was Roland Hunt, born 1629. He was the son of Thomas Hunt of Batten Strange, who was Sheriff of Salop, and grandson of Richard Hunt of Shrewsbury in Alderman, and great-grandson of Thomas Hunt of Gouldstone. And we know that Roland had issue named Thomas, Edward of Andal, Roland, Elizabeth, Francis, Sarah, Jane, and we know that the son Thomas was born 1734 and had sons named Roland, Edward, who was rector of Benfield, Thomas, and George. Next, the arms of another member of these, this family from Milson named William Hunt. And he had a daughter named Isabel who married Henry Stanton. Next, Hunt of Folsham in Norfolk found on a church monument to Sir Thomas Hunt who died in 1616 of Lamberth Dean, patron of the church. He had a son and heir named William Hunt, Esquire of Hilderston, and Nicholas, a merchant in London who died before his father. Another, not sure of the armature on this one. Another for the Hunts of Longnor in Shropshire. The progenitor of this family was Richard Hunt, who was alive in 1547. He was the grandson of Thomas Hunt and great-grandson of Robert Hunt of Stoke Daubney and the two ex-great-grandson of William Hunt, who died in 1486. Richard married Catherine Grosvenor and had sons Richard Hunt and Edward Hunt, both of Lognor, and he had son Thomas, Roger, and John as well. And the sons Richard had son Richard Hunt and Anthony Hunt, who continued the lineage into the 17th century. Another for the same family, all the same information I just read, but a different source gives a different coat of arms here. So perhaps this was for one of the sons or grandsons. Next, the coat of arms of the Hunts of Hildervesten or Hildersten in Norfolk. Nicholas Hunt, who died in 1541 of Hilverdesten, had issue Edmund Hunt of the same location, Thomas, Geoffrey, John, Edmund Hunt of Herming Toft, Nicholas, Thomas, Richard, Geoffrey, Henry, William, and John. Next we have the coat of arms, uh, Vert a Satire or Crest a Lion Sage in Erming, from the Hunts of Herming Toft in Norfolk and also in Suffolk. Edmund Hunt, who died in 1558, was son of Nicholas Hunt of Hildervesten. He married Lucy Howitt and had daughters Margaret, Mary, Elizabeth, and Cicely. He also had a son named John Hunt, who died in 1630. He was a doctor of law and master of the chancery, graduated from Trinity College, Cambridge, and was the owner of the manor of Thurning. Here we have it with a bird ghouls in the center. The arms of one John Hunt of White Bear near Bread Street, who came from Hilderston, in County Norfolk. Quarterly coat of arms for the Hunt family in Lanhydric, Cornwall. Anna Maria Hunt, born 1771 of Mayfair, London, was the great niece of Henry Roberts, 3rd Earl of Bradner, and 
inherited the Lannydrock estates in the late 17th century. She was the daughter of Thomas Hunt, a member of Parliament, and the granddaughter of Thomas Hunt, born 1684. Here in the middle, we see Anna Maria. On the right, we see her father, Thomas, and on the left, we see her grandfather, also Thomas. Here we see Lanhydric House in Cornwall. Coat of arms of the Hunts of Romford in Essex and London. They descended from George Hunt, who had sons Richard and George. The son Richard Hunt was of Shrewsbury and had sons Thomas, Roland, and grandsons Roland and Richard. And the son George, afterwards of London, had sons George Hunt and Richard Hunt, alive in the year 1634, of London, who was a mercer. Coat of arms of Roland Hunt, Esquire, alive in the year 1796, of Lincoln's Inn. Son of Roland Hunt, died 1785, Doctor of Divinity, grandson of Thomas Hunt, Esquire of Borhatton, and great-grandson of Roland Hunt, Esquire of Borhatton, who was born in 1629. Another Hunt of Lincoln's Inn, which I believe to be Roger Hunt, who died in 1455. He was an English Member of Parliament and a Speaker of the House of Commons, High Sheriff of Cambridgeshire and Huntingdonshire, acquired the Manor of Molesworth in Huntingdonshire, and was a member of Lincoln's Inn. Coat of Arms of John Hunt, born 1514, of Stoke and Linden in County Rutland, a Member of Parliament for Turland, who was granted a coat of arms on 1585, in 1585. He was son of Robert Hunt of Stoke, and he himself had four sons, including Sir John Hunt, who was knighted by King James I in 1611 and lived at Newton Burdett in Leicestershire. Francis Hunt of Baraden in Rutland, who himself had eight sons and one daughter. John Hunt of Gayton in Staffordshire, and Reginald Hunt of Linden, who married and had issue as well. This one featuring the Water Bougettes, Hunt of Blockley and of Lindley in Ink Barrow, and of Hollowfields, of Park Hall in Hanbury, and of Stoke and Bradley. Henry Hunt, born around the year 1570 of Stock and Bradley of County Worcestershire, was son of Henry Hunt of Holloway Grange and grandson of John Hunt of Holloway Grange. Robert Hunt of Lindsay was nephew of Samuel Hunt. Raphael Hunt of Hanbury and Thomas Hunt of Inkbarrow were fined in 1633 for refusing knighthood at the coronation of King Charles I. And we know the arms were also borne by one Walter Hunt, as found in a document dated 1520. Hunt of Chidley or Chudley in County Devon, a family who descended from Thomas Hunt, who died in 1548. He was the three-time mayor of Exeter, and his son Thomas Hunt of Chidley had son Bennett Hunt, born 1573. Bennett had issue Nicholas Hunt of Chedley, Thomas, John, Elizabeth, and Mary. Coat of arms found in the funeral entry of someone from Ireland who died in the year 1677. Wasn't able to find out who this was, but there was a Captain John Hunt and a Captain Barry Hunt who were in Ireland during the, looks like, 17th century. Coat of arms of Sir Barry Hunt, born 1761, created the first baronet of Currig in the county of Limerick in 1784, a title in the baronetage of Ireland. He later represented Ask Eaton in the Irish House of Commons, was son of Barry Hunt of Currig, and his arms were augmented in 1797 with a castle because he helped raise the 135th Limerick Regiment of Infantry. Coat of arms of Richard Burgess Hunt, Esquire of Plimpton, St. Mary, in County Devonshire, granted in 1833. He was captain of the Royal Regiment of Artillery and a major in the Army of Modbury in County Devonshire. Coat of arms of Nicholas Hunt, born 1596, of London, protector of the arches, which was a sort of court. He married and had issue William, Dorothy, Elizabeth, Marjorie, Joan, Sarah, and he was the son of George Hunt of the city of Exeter. 
coat of arms of Thomas Hunt, alive in the year 1646 of Coventry in County Warwick, captain of Colonel Chidley Coote's Regiment of Horse in Ireland between certain years. He was the brother of Lieutenant Gooder, Goodyear Hunt, who joined, and they jointly held the castle of Astley with 35 soldiers in the year 1644. Coat of arms of one William Hunt, alive in the year 1422, of East Barsham in Norfolk. He had son John Hunt. Coat of arms of Richard Hunt of Madewell in County Northampton. Coat of arms of Sir Nicholas Hunt, or Hunt, of County Kent, found in a 15th century document. Coat of arms of Henry Hunt, Merchant of London, alive in the year 1634. Third son of John Hunt of Horston, from Dorset, and the grandson of Henry Hunt of the same location. Robert Hunt, born 1609 of Speckington in County Somerset, was a member of Parliament for Somerset and Ilchester, son of John Hunt of Horston, a lawyer who purchased Speckington and Compton Pouncefoot. Another one from Speckington, where the chevrons are voided. And a quarterly coat of arms, as borne by Lewis Gooden Hussey Hunt, born 1786, of Compton Pouncefoot. Earlier there was John Hunt, born 1639, a member of Parliament who was the son of Robert Hunt of the same place. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description. Thank you very much.